Welcome to Lisbon. It's the Eurovision Song Contest 2018. And with us now, we have the big pleasure to speak to the guys, the Vikings from Denmark, Rasmussen. Hello. Hi. And you're the main man. Yeah, uh, can yeah. you introduce the, the other band members? Yeah, of course. But actually, they have so beautiful voices themselves. So yeah, you can just uh, <laughs> well done. put it over there. We uh, start here then. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I am uh, Daniel. I am the first bass and the guitar player in the acoustic version. Yeah, and I'm uh, Mass. I'm the second baritone. And I'm the lead singer, uh, Rasmussen, yeah. <laughs> but you also have a first name, no? Oh yeah, it's Jonas. Yeah, my Jonas. name is Jonas, yeah, Jonas, Jonas Rasmussen. I'm uh, Jesper and I'm the second bass. It's me who uh, go very deep. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm, I'm Gustav, Gustav and, uh, and I'm the first baritone. So f for how long do you, know, do you know each other? How were you formed as a, as a band? Uh, after I won the uh, national uh, Danish uh, selection, Mm -hmm. um, we had some meetings and we were very aware that we needed to find some guys that could go to Lisbon with me and mm -hmm. uh, who could sing and uh, who could look the part because in the national selection we had it was primarily dancers with me on stage um, because they didn't have to sing mm -hmm. uh, it's only my vo vocals were, were, were live on that uh, on that night so basically your vision unites, so uh, I hope you're going to be work working together more for after, after the Eurovision Song Contest, is that the plan? In this, uh, well actually we haven't talked anything about that, but uh, definitely when we're, uh, when we're in the Eurovision uh, bubble and we're doing higher ground and stuff like that, uh, it's, it's uh, important to have these guys with me, yeah. Okay, so you're coming out of actually of musicals, you've been singing musicals, which ones did you do and uh, are you going to be going back to musicals? Well, it's actually it's been a quite a lot of years since I did uh, an actual musical, but I but I I've done a I've done a couple. I've done a, you know Rent, uh, Blood Brothers, Les Misérables, West Side Story, and uh, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, and many many others. Uh, Grease actually also and um, Tommy. Wow, I love that musical. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll never never say never. Uh, mm. So let's see what happens after uh, Eurovision if uh, if somebody wants to. Uh, you know, I have many tracks I can go, uh, I can pursue, I, I won't close any doors. Uh, it, it's what fits with my family mm -hmm. back home and with uh, what I feel like doing uh, the most. But you also sang cover, you were in, in, in cover bands, yeah. I think. Which covers did you do? And are you still doing that? Uh, yeah, I'm doing, I have my own uh, cover band where we play uh, the, the 80s uh, hair metal. Uh, you know, with the tight spandex mm -hmm. on and a leopard shirt and stuff like that. It's, it's so fun. <laughs> so it's also metal music, or is this? Yeah, that's uh, the soft metal. That's the, the glam metal. Of, okay, of, of all it, right. You know, okay, the, okay. the pop metal, if you want. It's mm -hmm. the, it's what made metal popular in the '80s uh, when MTV also was, uh, was high uh, and, and new. Let's come back to Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. You won the national final, of course, it was a huge tele television show, which we enjoyed watching. Uh, now the presenters of the show, uh, Annette and Johannes, they yeah. were at Eurovision themselves representing yeah. Denmark. Yeah. Did they give you any advice how to go about this Eurovision cr craziness? No, they just, uh, they actually, they just uh, said that I should enjoy it mm -hmm. because it's uh, so much fun and uh, it's just a big, big, unity of uh, great different people uh, being here and uh, it's just filled with love and respect among each, among each other so yeah and are you enjoying yourself do, do you do you get the, that feeling as well for you for you as well and, and yeah it, it, there's a lot of things happening but <coughs> we I think we all try to enjoy it and have our moments where we take it all in yeah uh, it's yeah. it's a lot it's overwhelming but it's fun yeah yeah it's there's a lot and but you also make friends with a lot of other country singers did yeah, you yeah, team definitely. up with some other countries here <coughs> yeah de definitely but, but actually we yeah i did that did that at the pre-parties already mm -hmm. so uh, it was just nice to come down here and already be mates with uh, with a lot of the other countries uh, it, it was so fun. Meeting yeah. friends again, making new friends. That's, yeah, that's the, the yeah. spirit of Eurovision, the family. Totally. Let's come on to the song now, uh, Higher Ground. Uh, it, it was written by Swedish uh, songwriters, one of them from the Rolands. And I met the Rolands at Melody Festival in this year. Oh, a yeah, crazy Nicholas, gang. Yeah. So How did that come up? How, how did this, was the song written for you by Swedes? No, they, they, uh, they wrote it uh, based on this uh, legend. Uh, guy refusing to fight for his for his king mm -hmm. uh, so they had this Viking theme already in the mix uh, mm -hmm. when they wrote it and actually they send it uh, send it into the melody festival uh, okay. but they didn't get elected there so they 
sent it to the Danish uh, selection and and uh, they lo- they loved it but they needed to have a Danish singer mm-hmm. on it so that that's how they found me and then how, how did you decide to go and put this song into the national final as, as you as a singer I just did what I what I thought uh, I just, just sang it the way I wanted to, to sing it uh, for the for the you know audition mm-hmm. uh, for uh, for me sending in the video of me singing it I sang it the way I wanted to sing it and if, and if they liked it uh, uh, And it was taken. And it, it was, was taken, yeah. Taken. They, so they liked my take on it. But would you ever have dreamt of going to the Eurovision Song Contest? Was that one of the things in your life to to do? Um, not actually. It was. It it has always been a, a big, big event uh, mm. growing up. And uh, but but I've never thought that I was going to be uh, uh, participating in there. Mainly because I'm more of a performer uh, and not so much of an original artist mm. I write myself but not not that much not that many songs that I actually thought that I would send in mm. so so as a singer you need to be you need to be lucky <laughs> to yeah. be part of it because they, they want it they need yeah. to elect you right, indeed yeah now after the Eurovision Song Contest the journey is almost over you've been around to many many uh, uh, cities pre- preview events uh, and then all of a sudden Sunday it's finished so what are you going to be doing in the next uh, few weeks then after the Eurovision? I'm going to go home to, home to my family. Okay. Yeah, and, and spend, work-wise, spend time with them. Uh, yeah, the next the, the couple the summer uh, are definitely going to be filled with uh, different gigs around uh, Denmark, uh, maybe uh, maybe also uh, uh, Europe. Uh, mm-hmm. d- d- depends on uh, how well we're going to do at mm-hmm. the, the Eurovision. But but I'm definitely going to do some gigs around Denmark. Uh, And then you just uh, see what it, where it takes me. Yeah, fantastic. Rasmus Mussen and the the gang with you together. All the best of luck for Eurovision 2018. Thank make it make so it much. well in, in the semi final and then into the big final with a fantastic song called Higher Ground. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you.